Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to trace the circle if you don't have exact size of the of the pot lid. So I have the pot lid here size 9 and I want it size 10. And this is how I do And this face mat is the 3D breathable, super awesome face mat that you can do. And upgrade, it's going to be three layer and fill the pocket and everything. So this is this is 9, um, nine inch. I'm going to trace the pot lick. Okay, so you after you trace this, and if you want to bring this is nine, you want to bring into ten. What you need to do, you get the ruler. You go on to bring half an inch more. You go on to go around half an inch more. Everybody, so that you bring into ten inches. If you don't have the 10. Very simple. After that, you can just connect the line together where you mark and half an inch more. And then you can just cut it out. Okay, you see this? So connect this line so you can bring the circle bigger. Okay, so everyone, after I trace out the three circle, and now I'm going to fold it all three in half. I'm going to iron one more time to the four, like this. The three circle is a little thick, so what I need you to do, if you can, if you don't feel comfortable to do all three, then you can just do two and then the other one after. Big four on the left, two four on the bottom. Very important. From here, the big four to here, I like you to bring it up to one inch and one and three four. And then from the corner to here, I need you to bring it. So three and a half inches is right here. From here and here. You're going to get the pot lick, the same one that you traced earlier. You're going to place on the, the mark that you just marked and then you trace the line. There, okay, so you can see the line. Now you're going to cut that, but this is a little thick. I suggest you to clip it with the clip. all around before you cut this one out you see this line right here cut that okay so now this piece this is going to be very easy one this is upgrade everyone i'm going to open this okay so now i have three of them what i need you to do This is the right side of the fabric, the one on the bottom, that's the left side. Now I'm going to trace this so I can have that piece is matching this piece, the same length. Now you're going to trace this to meet the side. Okay, now you can just cut that extra away. Now when you cut it away, or uh, that you put it away, you have something like this. Okay, now you need, so you need one, two, and one more, so three. So I'm going to place this on the one, and then you just go around every one, and you need four of these. So go ahead and cut four of these at the same one that you just traced. I give out a very good instruction, but just because sometimes you miss the step, please go back and help me out. Just watch the video. Now you have the other three. You go on to cut this 
extra laying away. There. Now you have it, everyone. I'm going to bring this in here. I'm going to take one in here and I'm going to sew this line in, everyone. Sew this line. And another one right here. And sew this curl side and sew this curl side. These are just make it different, uh, no, different than the last one, make it easier. I have to find a good way to show you so you don't mess up or you don't confuse. Oh, it make easier for you. So let's just go ahead and sew this line. After I sew this one in, this one in the other end, I'm getting another piece of this, of this, like this. And I'm going to sew this line in. Yeah, now you're going to sew this piece in, just like this, everyone. Sew this piece to the together with this piece. Remember this one? Sew them together. Very simple and easy way to do. Okay, everyone, we, after we sew this two in, and it's like this, and this one like this, this is the main, that's the main face mat right here that I'm going to leave it on the side, and I'll, I'm going to make another one for the field of pocket, everybody, okay? So now, this is the this is another long piece sorry about this i cut it without um, recording the video this is another piece after that you fold it in half make sure even in the middle everything and then you cut it into two pieces just like this okay just like this and now we have two so what we have to do is we have two of these but we only use one, okay? So this is an extra you can put in somewhere. You can use for another face mat if you make two of these. So now you go on to place it on here. You go on to sew this line. You go on to sew the same thing you sew in this one. So everyone, this is a piece for the face mat. This is a long piece after we sew this together. Rewind the video, everyone. If you missed a step, oh my god, one of my subscribers is so funny. She make me laugh. Sometimes I make you laugh in the video. You also make me laugh too, everyone. So she said that I have to do the video to show people how to rewind the video. Oh my god, I laugh so hard. That's a good one. Okay, so this is the filter pocket. This is three layer, everyone. This is the filter pocket. That's why I cut it. The last piece in half and then i sew those two ends together this one will give you me a straight one hour to figure that out can you believe that that's ridiculous usually it's moving quick i think it's something going on with the heat that cooked my brain a little bit so when you're done sewing make sure you put the line down like this open like this and then you press with your fingernail all around just want to make sure it slide out nicely for you and then after that you're going to go like this and then you press with your fingernail just go around okay so everyone look at this after we um, press the line and everything it looks so nice for the um, for the, uh, for the filter here, for the filter pocket right here, you're going to measure from the ear loop side here, bring it in one inch. So it's one inch I mark right here. I'm going to fold it in. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. You have to bring both sides, each side here is one inch. You're going to bring your face mat back in. When you bring your face mat back in, you're going to leave it open like this, okay? And then you're going to place this filter pocket inside. And then you hold this. The, the, this is a face mat filter pocket. You're going to make sure the light that you sew here Okay, right here, it's light up with the light that you sew on the face mat right here. 
Light them up. This face mat, you don't need the no uh, piece for it because it will stay out for you. And if you want to make a no bridge, you cut the piece of fabric an inch by three and a half inches. And then you go on to place in here. You sew as my other video show you. If you go on to look for the video with the no bridge pocket, check the title of the video and go and check it out how to make it. But I tell you that I make many face mat. This face mask don't need it. So now when you light them all up like this, you go on to clip it together. Make sure it won't move. Same thing to here, you're going to make sure the next one, you're going to pull this all lie up on the top up here. All lie up to here where the fold. I just want to make sure when I sew, I make sure the lie stay there for you. So I'm going to use another clip and I'm going to clip it on there. Okay, this side too. Make sure that all lie up. The face mat, fill the pocket, lie up nicely, right in the center where you when you sew, and then another face mat side, right on it. Now you go into clip it together. Same thing to here. Get the the filter pocket piece up so you can sew together. This face mat is up great from the last one I make. I just want this one because a lot of people confusing, so I have to come up with the easiest way. So easy peasy no confusing so clip another clip right in the other end right here okay so when everything is good everything stays together you see how good that is it's way too deep in here that is not definitely not going to touch your nose your mouth and everything so let me tell you something that is going to be very helpful tip right here after you clip everything together okay so now think you think i'm crazy but i'm going to tell you this on one side of the esi i'm going to iron this so i can see the i can i can have the line when I have the line right there, I'm going to use the scissor. I'm going to cut it in half. Only on one side of the ESI. One side only, okay, everyone. From now, when you cut this, I like you to sew from here all the way to here. Because this is the full side, you don't need to sew. So from here, you're going to sew all the way to here. I cut this line so I can inside out the few um the face map. Let's do very 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 small stitch it here. Get the very I keep telling you ah uh, your finger hurt because your needle is big. So get the smallest one. My mine is very tiny one. You go to the fabric store or any Walmart or I don't know where you go, but if you go to any of that store, you make sure you look for the needle that is small. That's the first thing you look when you want to make hand sew face mat. Now, so when you're done, you're going to put your hand in here where the side that we leave it open. You're going to take this face mat inside out. Oh my goodness, what did I do wrong? I'm so scared. When you're inside a face mat, it's gonna look like this, right? And then you'll freak out. 
it's like I thought she wanted the right side out. Don't worry, just hold it like this and then inside out this one. Take the face mat this way. Okay, just hold it like this. Go on this way. And you can have the filter pocket in the same color as your face mat. There we go. Symbol. Don't freak out. Nothing to be. You see this? See how awesome that is? The filter pocket right on here. You, you don't have to go through anything here and right there. Face mat, this one right here. If you're planning to make this one, the face mat to um, easy to breathe, telling you, you fold in the other way and then you press it like this. Okay? Do the same thing. If you sew like this, you're going to spread it like that. Okay? And then you press this way first. After that, you can press this way before you use the, the iron. And if that way, this way, it'll go on to hold this down very nice for you. You see how it is? Same thing to this side. You're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to iron this, everyone. How comfortable that is. How pretty this is. This is very, very pretty face mat. Everyone should make one for yourself, for your kid, for your family. Okay, so now with the ear side, remember over here, what you need to do, you're going to hold it and you're going to bring it in. So a quarter of an inch the first time and then another one, another a quarter of an inch. So... Clip it like that. In this side, because the fold is already there, all you need to do is just bring it down. Another thing that I want to point out with you, I like to have the filter to all the way to here, not only in front of my nose. That's why I make the filter pocket go all the way to here. But all the people, if you want to make the face, the filter only stand in your nose, in your mouth, you can bring this side when you fold. Remember when you fold it down for one inch, you can do two inch. So it's down here, two in or two in, uh, two inches and half, two and half inches. Okay. If you want, if you want it to go down here, you can bring, you can fold it two and half inches down here, both sides two and half inches. So the filter pocket can start right here. This is how you sew the uh, the ear loop pocket. You can just slide a needle. Slice the other way from you. It's this way. Don't go straight. This time I use it. I'm making the ear loop, everyone. And I'm going to use the pantyhose for it. If you happen to use the um, the, the, the strap that go around the, the head, you use 17 inches. Follow my other video for the ear saver. How pretty this face mat. Everybody, look at this. Super awesome. Now you're going to put the uh, the ear look uh, and the ear uh, the ear loop in there. So I'm using the pantyhose. So I'm gonna cut this pantyhose I've been using forever. I'm using the thickness side in here, everyone. When you use all the pantyhose, so you cut in this way up, and when there's no more, you can cut this way up this way, and you use it. So now I'm going to cut this into two. I'm going to get the the pantyhole in one side, go to the other side, and then I'm going to tie the knot. For pantyhose, when it's straight, you can just cut it, and then you can um, you can you can bring it in more. You can just make sure. It's about the right side when you make it. You right there. You know how long how long is the side of the pantyhose string. 
then you can cut it. If you wear it and you see it's loose, then you can take you, you take it in. Now you're going to turn around, you're going to hide that knock inside. You're going to do the same thing to this okay, side. everyone, the face mask is done. Now we're going to make the draw string bed for the face mask so they can, you can clip on the side of your bed if you want to. This is the basic one, but later on I'll go into the, the, the fancy one after. Okay, so I have the fabric here that I already cut out six inches by ten and a half inch. So the first thing you need to do is you go on to you go on to leave the fabric like this and on the side of the two side of the fabric here. I like you to just fold it in a quarter of an inch. You can press with your fingernail if you like. Or if your um, fabric a little thick, you can use iron, but my it can go down easily. So I press with my fingernail a quarter of an inch on the two sides of the the fabric, and then I'll go on the top here. I'm going to fold it in also a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now I need to do sew this line. If you use sew machine, you can sew the whole line here. And then I will show you next step, okay? Very easy, everyone. If, if you do the by hand, you can also do that too. Just sew this line. Okay, so everyone after you sew on this line here remember the two side we leave it along now we're going inside out like this so you see the sew line that you sew make sure you have that side it's nice and even when you have it like there you go on to get the clip you can just clip it right there okay so now this is easy you can just sew you're going to start from the fold line here. Gonna start from the fold line. You're going to sew a quarter up and inch all the way, all the way up to here. You're going to sew where the line that you stored, you sew, you're going to stop right there. Okay, so go ahead and sew the slide that I show you up to here, and then we stop. Okay, remember, when you get into here, do not go through the whole thing. It's just right here, and then you stop, okay, everyone? Don't go to the whole line right there. You can inside out this bed. Oh my goodness, look my kid, everyone. Okay, so press everything, it's all set, and then you have a bed. I'm going to get the string. And I'm going to let it go through the string. Let me see if I have a purple one. Okay, so everyone I have, I cut out the string about 12 inches, but you can get 10, doesn't matter to me. Um, it's just a string that depend on how you tie, how you light, how you tie, blah, blah, blah. So before you put into, do you know where the one that we fold earlier, when we sew, we stop right here. So just go ahead and and go through this hole there. Before you go in there, get the bobby pin, trying to make sure it go through because sometimes the fold can get on your wing. Get the string on the bobby pin, the end of it, and then let go through the whole bat here. Symbol, person don't want any button, any zipper, nothing so simple. I wish I, all, I, I have all requests a symbol like that. Okay, so here you are done with your bed. And after you string the string in the bed, 
you have your own bed here that you can just keep your extra um, face mat in here when you when you lose it or whatever you can just take it out and use it and it just make sure there's two strings you don't have to have a long string like this but if you use this for the backpack or something it will be perfect for the backpack so all you need to do just tie the end just knock you make the knock at the end like this and then you use the clip and then you can just clip it on it and you clip it on your backpack or whatever you want to keep them so i have to think here my kid when they got this i complain about it and now i use it everyone for to show you so now you clip it like this and clip it on the um, the uh, backpack and put the extra face mat in here everyone or you can clip it on the side of your bed or whatever okay in the car whatever you want to do so this is the bed Thank you for watching. I will put a face mat on and I will let you know what it looked like on my new Hi style. Everybody. So we finished the face mat. Look at this. So pretty. Isn't it? So roomy and beautiful. This is make it easier for you from the last time when you try to cut it and it doesn't match the one. This time you'll be able to do that. You can trace it and make sure every make everything is uh, match. So I'm going to put it on and the filter very handy. The filter pocket from here to here. That is so easy to put it on. So I'm going to put it on and I'm going to let you see it. Look. Look how nice that is. Look at this everyone. It goes all the way here and it's snuck underneath here. Go all the way to here. So pretty. Me right here that you can put your, your glasses on here and it will stay there clear all day for you. Okay. And also here, this is the bed that you can just put an extra one in there. Let me get this one in extra. Fold it. I'm going to put it in and zip it there. There you go. I have the extra that I can hang it in my key on my backpack or I can hang it in the car anywhere you want to hang for your extra face mat just in case you forgot and you lost one. And that happened. This is new for us. This is the bat that the person asked me to help. Very simple. No button, no zipper, no nothing. No Velcro. Okay, easy, simple. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And take care. Stay safe out there.